What's happening to your boy Tech Tricks back in another video and today we're looking at a portable monitor from QQH. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so you could be notified of next videos to come up tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca, hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what this thing can do. We're going to open this up today, we're going to test it with our MacBook M1 and let's see how well it does. Packaging is pretty nice as well here. Nice box kind of like the apple style boxes right up here is what we get is the uh, power adapter the monitor here let's put that on the side for now a little bit of uh, accessories like an hdmi cable there's also a usb-c cable there's also a usb-c to usb-c instead of the usb day version there. it comes with the user manual and that's it let's get this out of the plastic here now this feels right away with the case it feels like a big ipad which is really nice let's uh, fold this away now as you can see oh this is the monitor right here <laughs> that's beautiful now with the case you'll be able to use this as a kickstand as well by doing this there you go or you can adjust it as well by doing that pretty nice let's go ahead and pull out our macbook m1 there you go we have our macbook here now let's see first if the usb-c will work here and as you can see just like that with just the usb-c you'll be able to display your computer onto the portable monitor Pretty nice don't need a uh, couple cables you don't need any converters or anything like that it'll go straight to the monitor as you can see there's three slots right there there's the HDMI two USB C's to charge and also use to connect your computer to the monitor on this side there's also a speaker grill right there on this side as well has a headphone jack this one will be used so that you can toggle switches and do settings on the monitor this is to change inputs and then a speaker grill up here as well now for the thickness there it's quite on par the macbook air is actually thicker because of the stands so you can see there on the back the macbook air is actually thicker now with the case with the folding pad right there it is pretty much similar this hump on the MacBook Air actually makes the MacBook Air bigger than the screen. Now if you're editing on the MacBook Air, um, most of the time you'll need a bigger screen because the MacBook Air only has a 13 inch screen. It'd be nice to see it on a bigger screen. Most, most of the time when you're editing it would look like this and your timeline is all over the place here and also the screen would be too small. So what you want to do is you want to hit this viewer right there. It'll turn that on it'll get rid of this area now you'll have more room for your footage and stuff but then your screen of editing would be your portable monitor as you can see here now i find this useful of course when i'm editing because my screen would be bigger and i'll be able to see you know different blemishes and different stuff like this area right here that I can cut out that I cannot see on a smaller screen so that's why this portable monitor is really useful now if you wanted to play switch on here all you need to use is the HDMI cable that's provided in the box and connected to the Nintendo switch hub and then uh, you'll be able to play some games let's try this out oh, let's try some uh, catching some Pokemon's here go so, not bad at all it's quite responsive as well, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Let's go attack this guy right here, try to catch it.
Now if you wanted to change the input, all you need to do is hit this and then bring it up to C1. And then you'll be able to see your laptop once again. Right now we are editing our video, be able to edit as well at the same time. And then if you want to go back to gaming, all you need to do is hit this, HDMI, and you're good to go. With this as well, you'll be able to do three devices all at once which is really good and that's it for today everyone thanks for watching i hope I was able to help you on your choice in a brand new portable monitor just like this one if you want to get one of these i'll link this down below so go ahead and check that out i definitely would recommend this for people who wants to edit even more so on a bigger screen and you want to see more blemishes and also so that you can improve on uh, color grading as well if i was able to help you make sure to hit that subscribe button below hit that like button as well so we can beat that youtube algorithm i hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful peace